It's Vision. Vision is causing this. He's causing all of this. Well, it's Wanda too, but Vision is creating the fake reality. Wanda is just enhancing it with her magic. How could we not all see this? I mean, the show is called WandaVision, not Wanda Goes Crazy. But I digress. Follow me on this one. The clues are all over the place. For starters, in the very first episode, Vision picks up the remote control and points it at the television. And again in episode two. Wonder Vision! And again in episode three. All vision. Yes, there's a show coming on tonight at 3 in the morning. Yes, I could be wrong about my idea, but I've been trying to do this video for three weeks now. And Friday morning keeps showing up like clockwork before I get it done, so I decided, what the hell? If I'm right, I'm right, and I'll have the first video talking about why, why Vision is creating the hex. Like I said in the hook, Vision is controlling the remote control. Wanda never touches it until much, much later. There's always a TV in the living room and always a remote in the shot. Vision doesn't use the remote in the 80s episode, but this is the episode where he's really starting to take hold of the idea that something isn't right with reality. I can't remember my life before Westview. I don't know who I am. I'm scared. Wanda doesn't use the remote until episode seven when the episode is centered around her. Look, we've all been there, right? <sighs> Letting our fear and anger get the best of us. Intentionally expanding the borders of the false world we created. Okay, so Wanda is speaking in the first person here, and she may just be speaking hypothetically, using we in the context of we've all had a case of the Mondays. So what if we means her and Vision? Wanda, Vision. Wanda! Vision! <laughs> Here's my theory. I believe Vision created this reality. We already know his powers come from the Mind Stone. We also know that Hayward is a- Negotiate with a terrorists. And we know Sword had split Vision into pieces and Wanda was pissed about it. Sword is- Essential weapons like it says on the door. It also says observation and response on that door. We know there are hexagons everywhere in WandaVision and that the Kree are fond of hexagons. We also know organizations have experimented with Cree technology in the past. So what if Hayward was experimenting on vision with Cree technology, combining the technology to create a virtual reality? This is a television screen. Yes, yes, it could be a monitor, but a monitor of what? Okay, this one is far out, but that's what analyzation of sitcom realities with witches and robots are for. Sword is probably using Vision's body to create a weapon. All signs of the show point to this, plus... That's why he was so focused on tracking Vision inside the hex. Hayward wants his sentient weapon back. What kind of weapon? And how would that weapon operate without the Mind Stone? Sword has had five years to figure this out. Wanda disintegrated in the blip and has only been back for a few weeks. Sword has had Vision's body for five years. What if in those five years, S.W.O.R.D. used the technology and vision to create some sort of artificial reality? Shifted away from manned missions and refocused on robotics, nanotech, AI, essential weapons like it says in the door. But it wasn't fully functioning yet. They were only testing it. I propose that the sitcom styles here are a demo mode, if you will. A test created of different artificial realities. I think S.W.O.R.D. used Vision's body to create a weaponized version of a virtual environment. And Wanda's magic enhanced that. WandaVision, it's both of them. It's called WandaVision because her magic has mixed with his programming and created the hex. We've already seen augmented reality and virtual reality used to manipulate people in the MCU. Create a hex bubble around your target. You could walk right in and steal whatever you want. Take over whatever country you want. Kill whomever you want. Is there something I can do for you, Wanda? Do you want something changed? No. It's fine. 
Wanda learned Vision was being used to create a weapon. She rescued him, and as she drove off with his body, he switched on the demo mode, and her magic made everything real. Look at her. She is grinning from absolutely ear to ear. She suddenly has a full and perfect version of Vision back. Wanda doesn't care how or why she got him. We know that Westview was within easy driving distance of Sword's headquarters. Maybe Wanda stopped by the side of the road to freak out over having Vision's body in her car. She touched him and accidentally activated him. Maybe just having her magic nearby switched him on by accident. However it happened, I think the very moment Wanda and Vision drove into Westview in the first episode was when Vision had been activated and this program started running. Wanda knew something was wrong. She just didn't care because she had Vision back and she just kept rolling with it. My wife had a flying saucers. My husband and his indestructible head. Help me a fine pair. No. I don't know how any of this started in the first place. You don't think it's wrong. Are you kidding? I'm impressed. I have what I want. And no one will ever take it from me again. So how is Vision controlling everyone? I am glad you asked, because I have a suggestion for that, too. gone through the boundary twice already, Monica. The energy inside has rewritten your cells on a molecular level twice. It's changing you. The comic book fans have been squeeing from Monica's introduction in Captain Marvel about the possibility of Photon coming to the MCU. They're certainly setting it up nicely to introduce Monica, getting her powers by entering the Hex. Monica is getting, or has gotten, powers from being in the Hex, and she can see things differently on the inside now. Specifically, she sees power lines with some sort of weird energy coming off of them. Could it be that Monica is seeing energy, or could it be that Monica is seeing the signal that's controlling everyone in Westview? Why are there so many radios in Westview? Who has a radio on full blast in the office? Hey, the music isn't bothering you, is it, pal? In terms of distraction from work or the largely nonsensical nature of the lyrics? Yes, it sets up the yakety yak don't talk back clip. <laughs> Nerd, take out the papers and the trash! Or you won't get no spending cash! If you don't scrub the kitchen floor! You ain't gonna rock and roll no more! Yakety yak! Don't talk back. Can I just pause for a second at the brilliance of Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen and every freaking actor in the show for that matter? Just really amazing, amazing work from everyone. The actors went through dialogue and vocal coach training to really sell the idea they were in a sitcom from each era. everyone is being controlled with radio waves. When Jimmy breaks into the radio, disrupting the signal, Dottie breaks free from her control for a moment. Wanda. Wanda. <laughs> How does Vision even know to touch Norm's head and release his real persona? How did Vision know to touch Norm? How does Vision touching people's heads release their true persona? How does this work? Whoa, okay. Awake? Oh, uh, yeah. And how does Vision even know how to do it? Because he's the one who generated the hex and started all of this in the first place. I have to believe that this, whatever this is, was subconscious at first and that you only recently became aware of it. Aware of what? Norma's a family! Wonder. Notice the lettering doesn't fizzle out when Wanda leaves the room. It fizzles out when Vision leaves the room. And if Wanda's magic, or Agatha's, is controlling everything, how could this happen? 
High levels of radiation present at perimeter. Effect on Westview residents unknown. Please advise. <laughs> This is a technology glitch. Signals bleeding over from the real world, like cell phone signals crossing or interference in a radio signal. Technology, not magic. Yes, Norm mentions a woman. You have to stop her. Stop who? She's in my head. None of it is my own. But there are multiple layers here, and while we know that Wanda is controlling the reality to some degree, we also know that... <laughs> freaking love this show. I think Agatha stumbled across the situation and decided to take advantage of it. Everything around her is already 50s. She's just changing herself to match it. Sure, Agatha is pulling the strings here and there. In fact, I'm working on another video about this and other details in WandaVision. Insert seamless plug to like and subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications about my other videos. But I believe Agatha is taking advantage of this crazy reality to suit her own needs. Whether that's something like creating kids for Mephesto, I'm not sure. But I don't believe she created the hex. Because I think it all started with Vision. And now a deep look at Vision's head. I first realized it was quite possibly Vision who created the hex with this intro. The paintbrush starts at Vision's head. Aesthetically, that's a weird choice. The family ties brush starts at a sleeve, somewhere in the middle of the painting. His head. Where else have we seen Vision's head turn colors before? Vision. Oh yeah. And as the world colorizes around him, it ends with Vision's fingers. The complete colorization started and ended with Vision. We've now reached the part of the demo, weapon mode, that's colorized. There's other clues and intros that Vision created the Hex. He's driving the car into the Hex in the first episode. They look so happy! Oh my god, Marvel, do not break my heart! I want them to live happily ever after. I adore them. Please, please, everything is terrible right now. Please give us this, okay? Marvel? <sighs> He's also driving the car in the 60s intro. Not only are the words, you wander the world with a vision of what life could be, but it's, we're making it up as we go along. Both of them. Wanda Vision. And speaking of intros, yes, yes, it's a television show, but why a tower? And why sitcoms? And why broadcast at all? I don't know, I don't know, and I don't know. I mentioned Monica seeing energy coming off the power lines, but there's another place we can see towers seething with energy. There are all towers in the logos. an actual analog signal created by technology, not magic. Vision turned on the technology, somehow activating demo mode for the virtual reality weapon, and Wanda's magic made it real, as in real. What's happening with the broadcast? Dead air. The signal's gone. Side note, I don't believe the broadcast stopped. It stopped broadcasting in analog. Assume Fox viewing positions. <laughs> June 12, 2009, the United States flipped the switch off on analog TV and on for digital television. This means that WandaVision is probably still broadcasting just in digital. And if Hayward hadn't fired Darcy, she would have known that. Speaking of Hayward... You've taken an entire town hostage. Well, I'm not the one with the guns, Director. Codename Cataract, we know Hayward is tracking Vision inside the Hex. We know he was experimenting on Vision, and we know that he wasn't surprised at all when Vision and Wanda showed up at a sitcom. Seriously, not a single WTF expression on the guy's face. He knows what's going on. How does he know how to see inside the Hex? Because he, or rather S.W.O.R.D., created the artificial reality technology with the help of Cree technology and a hyper-intelligent synthesoid being. God damn it, I love science fiction. 
Wanda knows Hayward is a bad guy and knows Vision is part of how this reality was created. But she wants to keep it. She has zero qualms about pointing guns at Hayward because he's the bad guy. She adds her magic to the technological force field, refusing to hide anymore and protecting the bubble universe with everything she loves inside it. And one more thing about Project Cataract. Every single credits of every single episode begins with Wanda's eyes and ends with Vision's eyes, and the camera goes right through Vision's eye each time. I'm not new to video blogging, but I don't have much content on this channel. I plan on remedying that. Click all the things you're supposed to click, and as always, the main question is, would my video get more likes if I had more cleavage? This is not going to be my first WandaVision video, so check back later. Hit me up on social media. And Marvel, one more plea to not hurt my favorite couple or their children. Okay, thanks. Bye.